Alright. Welcome back. I am Karjan, and this is Let's Art, Operation Blinking Mirror Edition. Um, I'm not entirely sure what causes the problems that I have been noticing. Um, it kind of seems like what's occurring is that there's a resource war that ends up going on between Photoshop and Cam Studio, which is what I'm using to record this. But I'm not entirely certain, because there's a handful of other things that could be causing that. Um, and it might be a case of it's not actually one thing that's causing all of this. It's just a combination of all of the little things that are occurring. Um, for example, I don't usually... No. I don't usually um, work with my computer while it's plugged into an external monitor. So, I'm driving an external monitor at the same time. Um, Now, I'm not saying that that could cause it, I'm just saying that that requires some resources that my computer may not be particularly capable of producing while dealing with Photoshop's heavy usage of certain resources, such as the graphics card. Um, which might be at least part of the reason behind this. Another reason that I'm not going to dismiss is a uh, resource war between Cam Studio and Photoshop. Um, they're both fairly CPU happy programs. And while I do have four, s four cores, that can only stretch so far. Especially if one program gets greedy and decides not to release certain resources. Which, I wouldn't put it past Photoshop to be, you know, a very greedy program, which it is. Um... Having been watching my resource usage for to some extent, not not to the extent that I could be watching it, but um, having just these two programs running does tend to devour somewhere between thirty and forty percent of all four CPUs, you know, in total. Total resource usage of about 30% of all available CPU resources. Um, which doesn't seem like much, but that's... That's the two programs... Mm, quote-unquote idling as much as Cam Studio can actually idle while it's recording. Um, so, there, there is certainly something in there that it does tell me 
that logically Photoshop is going to end up being the culprit in nearly anything. I try and pin the blame on. But since I'm not going to stop using Photoshop, then I guess I will just live with live with the problem. Because I can't really see a way to solve that. And yes, you could say I could solve that by getting a better computer, but well, I'm a poor college student. I'm a poor graduated college student. I don't have the money to spend on getting a better computer when the one I have does everything I need and anything else I may need to do, such as games. I have a much more functional desktop computer that can quite easily take up any slack that my laptop is incapable of handling. All things being equal, however... Oh wow, that's really long. Okay. All things being equal, however... Um, I do prefer my computer, my laptop, over a desktop. And I think I probably always will. Um, I like being able to go wherever... little bit more up. I do prefer being able to go wherever I want with my laptop. Current habit of uh, of being a desktop bound laptop aside <coughs> excuse me although a lot of that has to do with the fact that um, uh, Bye bye train of thought. A lot of my reliance on my laptop being used as a fairly desktop bound machine in the past year or so does really boil down to, well, I have a small spinal issue that means that if I don't whoops if I don't keep myself seated properly during long periods of time then I will end up with a headache and some and some neck pain, but mostly a headache. Um, and I do tend to try and avoid that because pain is bad. And having a proper chair, which I have at my desk, helps to keep me from committing bad posture problems turn everyone off for the moment so I can see 
how everything is shaping up better. So, and I will say, as an offhand comment to anyone who may be thinking about doing something like riding a horse, um, wear a helmet while doing so. Um, I got lucky that I didn't snap my neck, and I know this. And I'm not, if I ever get back on a horse, it sh my fall did not cause me to stop riding horses. What caused me to stop riding horses was lack of time and moving away from the country. Um, and I partially grew out of that phase. I still like horses though. But anyway, that aside. I will not get on a horse anymore without a helmet looking back on my past now because I know that I am very lucky to have not snapped my neck from falling like I did. I don't remember it too well, but I do remember falling face first onto the road that I was that I was riding along. So. There's that. Um, so yeah, wear helmets. Wear protective gear. Or else you may end up with a spinal misalignment that causes you great pain as you age. That's looking sort of better. I think I need to thin the arms down a little bit. Yeah. This needs to be... a little more slender. Let's see. Hmm. What to discuss? What to discuss? Um. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not really doing anything interesting with the art at the moment. I'm just trying to get the outline of Nina the way I like it. Um, the head looks a bit too masculine for my taste, but that's partially a result of not having any real features on it outside of this. Um, whoops. I guess I could make her chin a bit pointier. I don't know if that really helped any. I don't really want it sticking out too far. I guess it'll probably look better when I add hair in. 
So that is what we judge a lot of masculine or feminine features on about. What clothes are they wearing? What's their hairstyle like? How do they carry themselves? tell you right now that a lot of what I drew here is too th too heavy and by heavy I mean thick in terms of you know her legs are slender whoops didn't really mean to erase that, but I don't really care enough to undo. Um, move it in a bit more. Get that shape for the back of the leg. I don't know, I've pretty much run out of things to ramble on about, because I am just rambling at this point. Um, hmm. Let's see, I've talked about my family, and I've talked about, talked a little about what I did, I went to college. I learned how to program. I have learned a little bit about engineering. Um, mostly what I went to learn about engineering with was um, things like how to set up how to set up um, networks and similar. Um, because that's, that's a lot of what my father does. He sets up networks and I've done some work with him with that. So it felt fairly logical to me to go and learn about networks from a engineering point of view, because I had learned about networks from a, uh, from a computer programming point of view. That was interesting. I learned how to program some network, network related programs. And found that I kind of enjoyed it. It's hard. Network programming is difficult because you have to take into account client server and everything else like that. Oh, I think I hate feet almost as much as I hate uh, hands. Wow, that's looking clunky. Okay. Hmm. This...
down. I'm making it too square because I'm looking at her picture and she wears sort of... Well, they're kind of rounded. They're like loafers almost, it looks like. So I'm just going to leave a general shape and I will I will draw the shoes around that later. That's approximately an appropriate shape. And I'm not caring about all of these gaps and the like in the lines because well, a lot of this is going to be erased as soon as I draw the shoes in place. That's not too bad. I think it needs a bit more in like that. Ugh. Flipping double taps. Okay. So, and then over here... I've got this... The foot is at a... Sort of oblique angle. Mm, excuse me. what I get for eating eating a bunch of chocolate in order to soothe my throat. I don't usually talk this much the way I've been doing in my day-to-day -day life. I'm very much an introvert, so I tend to hang around in the background and just watch and occasionally throw in throw in comments. I'm not totally silent. But I don't talk for hours at a go. So it's a bit interesting getting used to effectively rambling aloud. As most of my rambling usually goes on in my head, and I'm quite content to keep it there because, mm, frankly, most of it isn't fit for human consumption. Whoops. to take a brief moment to save because after everything I've done it would be just like my computer to crash right now when I'm finally starting to get satisfied well I guess that's not bad Whoops. it's not spectacular but it's not bad Okay, I'm just going to leave that the way it is, so I'm going to remove all of those, all of the figures, and going to start properly outlining the tree. This is going to be a really, really quick... quick sort of action. Um, a lot of what I'm going to end up doing with the tree and the like later and you can see I'm purposely using a lot larger of a brush And 
and not caring too much about how my hand wavers as I do that because I'm just going to end up incorporating those little wavers into the way the trunk actually looks. Because some of this, when I did it, ended up being just a little bit too straight, so it looks unnatural. Because nothing in nature is really straight or smooth. I mean, it gets pretty close at times, but it's not perfectly straight. And of course I will go back and smooth out some of these lines, especially where I'm doing things like that. I'm not going to solely rely on on what I'm doing here. like that. Trees have always been one of the things that I really enjoy drawing. I think I've got an entire sketchbook filled with, with nothing but um, nothing but um, strange, large, somewhat unnatural looking because of how gnarled and twisty and the like they are. Trees that, you know, I've, I've fully pencil shaded and some of them I even actually um, added some color to. I have a bit of a fascination with the natural world. Um, not enough to really enjoy going out in it. Uh, I'm a bit too much of the stereotypical... Um, computer geek, programmer sort of person to really enjoy nature. It's a bit too uh, naturey for my taste. <laughs> um, don't get me wrong, I love it, and I really enjoy. I really enjoy uh, looking at it, but I don't tend to get along with nature too well, even when I was young. I don't know how many times I fell out of a out of a tree that I decided to climb. I mean that's that's fairly common for a kid, but I think I took it a bit more personally than most kids did. Um, <laughs> still had fun doing it, mostly. And I didn't ever really hurt myself. But it's still something. Um, this line right here is going to be... Is, is actually a, uh, a lightning scar. So that's mostly going to just be... Something that I mostly indicate with uh, colors. And layers of, layers of colors. I 
don't entirely know why I, I put a lightning a lightning scar in there. Um, besides the fact that Flick is called Blue Lightning. It might have something to do with it. I'm not entirely sure. But it also might be that ever since I, uh... So there was, there was this tree in my front yard when I was growing up. That had this great big lightning scar down its trunk. I was always fascinated by that. The fact that the tree could have been hit so hard and so bad that it was permanently scarred. And I mean, this, this lightning scar was... It... it clearly had struck the tree when it was mostly grown, because it reached very far up the trunk. Um, and it was, um, it was really wide, too. But yet the, the tree flourished, and still flourishes, actually. So I was always, always fascinated by that as a, as a kid. And so, yeah, a lot of, a lot of the trees that I've, I've drawn have, unless I've specifically decided not to, I usually do end up adding a sort of lightning scarred edge somewhere in there. So, Flick's name aside, it probably has... The fact that I I scarred the tree probably has more to do with um, my fascination with a, a childhood tree than, um, and, than any real comment on his name. So... I think I'm going to finish outlining this tree, sloppily outlining, and then I'm going to call this video finished, and I may get back to this today, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to take a break from doing this because my... oops. I don't really like that. Let's put this closer to here. Like that. Because not only is my throat starting to hurt from talking, but my, uh, my hand is, my right hand is starting to hurt from, uh, holding the pen. That's yet another injury of mine. Which is a, uh... Something... Memento of my high school career. It was exciting. I think I wanted to move that a little further away, so it needs to be more like this. Um, I apologize if you could hear that, I was... I'm cracking my wrist because that helps to... helps the, uh, the pain a little bit. Um, 
basically, I, I jammed my thumb in during recess, during gym class one day, and um, the, the end result of that is that I have a thumb that occasionally starts hurting if I hold things for too long. It doesn't help that I... I, uh... have a large tendency to hold things much more firmly than they need to be. Um, I've gotten a lot better than that. It used to be that if I was... if I was holding something, if I was holding a pen for a long period of time, that, uh, that my knuckles would end up almost white because of how, how tightly I was holding it. I don't do that anymore. I don't think my hand could handle it if I did that anymore. But it still remains that um, I do tend to hold things a little too firmly, and so I end up hurting my hand. Um, okay. That doesn't look too bad. Um, needs to be cleaned up some, of course, but, and then of course I've got the background trees, but they're really not going to be paid attention to until the very end. So... There we have it. Pretty much finished. Now I need, just need to go back in and start adding clothes. I will see you next time. Uh, just wait for this to save. There we go.